Hi, welcome to another video from Equator.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do vector calculation using the Casio FX991MS. To do the vector calculation, as you can see on the screen, let's say we have a vector of mm, two space or two dimension. The first value is two and then three, and the second is five and minus two, and the third one is minus two, two and four. This calculator can store up to three uh, vectors so let's uh, start calculation. Press mode button multiple times until twice and then three times as until you see VCT which is vector. Now press 3. On the screen you will see VCT which is vector. So the calculator is now ready to accept or work with vector. To enter this value uh, the this uh, calculator has number 5 with shift. If you press shift and 5 you see VCT here vector press shift 5 the first thing that you need press number 1 that's the dimension now it says in which memory you want to store as we said we have three memory a b and c so we are going to store it in a which is we call vector a so press 1 now it's asking for the dimension because this is two dimension we press 2 and then equal sign now this screen shows an arrow and also shows vector a and then 1 this is A1 and that is A2. So I'm pressing 2 and then equal sign. It, it goes to the A2. Now the 3. 3 and equal sign. Now I can press. I can go and check it by pressing the arrow left and right. Or just press all clear and disappears. Let me enter this one into memory B. Press shift 5. And then number 1 dimension. And then this one will be into B. I'm pressing 2. The dimension is 2 equal B1, which is 5, and B2 is minus 2. 5 and then equal sign. And then for B2, minus this minus and 2. This is done. And let's say this is a three dimension. You want to store it, and we want to store it in C. Press shift 5 and number 1. Now 3. We want to store it in the memory C. The dimension I press 3 equal sign now C1 this one C1 this is C2 and this is C3 so minus 2 equal and then 2 equal and then 4 equal as you see here C1 C2 and C3 when I scroll left and right I see the value here all clear now let's do the calculation let's say you want to do add this vector to this vector this was in memory B remember and this was A in addition doesn't matter the order so let me just go shift and then here this way we will recall the vector or bring it number three now we have one more vector which is number four i'm going to use next so vector a which is uh, so this one five two which is vector b i'm pressing two now i can put the plus sign and do the calculation but if you just want to see it that's how you do bring it on the screen by pressing shift and vect and then vector b equal sign now 5 and minus 2 as you can see it so all clear and now do, let's do the calculation by uh, shift and 5 and vector number 3 b number 2 plus put plus and then again bring the vector a shift 5 number 3 this 3 is for recalling the vector and then 1 so vector b plus vector a equal sign now the answer answer is the first element is seven and then the second element is one so seven one is the answer now let's do the cross product let's say for the cross product you have to add these two uh, multiply shift vector number three and then num two that's vector b multiply by shift five vector recall number three and then one so i'm multiplying vector b by b vector a now if i press equal sign you see i can review the value zero zero and then 90 so that's the value press all clear now if you need to recall the value and just see the result again press shift five vector which is number three and then four answer now if i press equal sign you see i can Review the value 0, 0, and then 
19. But also you can recall the value and add or do other calculation. Let's say you want to do the answer, uh, recall the answer and add it to this or, or subtract this from answer. Let's subtract this from answer. Shift vector number three and then I'm calling C which is three. Remember this was stored in C minus from the answer. Shift vector number three and then answer. So that vector minus the vector answer. So the answer is minus two, two and then minus fifteen. Let's do, let's do the dot product between vector B and vector A in our memory. So shift five, I'm recalling vector number three and then two. So I call or recall it. Now I have to put the dot. Press shift and five, scroll to the right and dot one. You see now the dot. Press shift again, recall the second vector, vector A, number three, which is vector and then one. So you will see vector B dotted with vector A. So that is a dot product of that, which is A, a number. Okay, many times you need to get the absolute value or magnitude of a vector. This vector of 5 minus 2, 5 is here, this is an x-axis and that's the y minus 2. The vector, if you get the magnitude, you would do Pythagorean theorem of 5 squared plus 2 squared. But in calculator you could do it easily. So let's do the uh, memory B from vector B. To do the absolute value, I press shift and then ABS here. Now we enter our vector here. Okay, shift, five, and then three, vector, and then number two. So absolute value of this vector, plus equal sign, five, three, eight, five, one, and that is the magnitude or absolute value of the vector. That's it, thank you very much. If you like the video, please thumb up, and also please don't forget to subscribe.